Today we'll be doing air conduction testing, and this is basic threshold test for auditory pathways. Okay, Mr. Ruthabuck, I'm gonna do some hearing tests on you today, and we're gonna start with pure tone testing, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these inserts into your ear canals, and you're gonna hear a series of tones, okay? The tones are gonna get softer and softer until you can't hear them anymore. And all I need for you to do is to push this button when you hear the tone. Do you have any questions? I don't think so, thank you. Okay, so I'm starting with the thousand because it is the best frequency for test retestability. And I'm starting at 40 decibels because that is a loud enough tone that is readily heard by most patients. You can always turn it up if your patient doesn't hear when you present, but for now we're just gonna start with 40. Um, once I start presenting my tone, I'm going to use the bracketing method by going down 10 until the patient doesn't respond and then going up by five until they do respond. Okay, so he didn't respond at negative 10, so I'm gonna bring it up by five until he does respond. Okay, and now I'm just gonna verify. Now we're going to move to our second frequency, which is 2000. Now we're gonna go back to 1,000 and verify that our threshold was correct. So our patient has the same threshold, and that means that our high frequencies were um, a reliable test. And so we have reliable thresholds. We're gonna move down to the lower frequencies. For this test, I'm just gonna do 500 because we have some lower level ambient noise in this clinic.
Okay, Mr. Ruth Butt, can you hear me? You're doing great. Now we're gonna move to your left ear. Do you have any questions for me? Okay. Okay, so on the left side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start at 1,000, work our way up, come back and verify, and then do the lower frequencies. As you may have seen with the right ear, I tested 3000 hertz. And that is because 3000 is the closest to the resonant peak of the average adult ear canal. Normally, inner octaves are only done when you have a 15 decibel gap between your octaves. So we're gonna do 3000 here, and then that is why I skipped 6000. Going back down to verify 1000. All right, Mr. Ruth Buck, can you hear me? Okay, that concludes our air conduction test today. All right.